Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Escaven Plays. Uh, this is a little bit different than the usual stuff. A lot of you may have noticed in my recent reports that we are lagging a lot, especially when we're spawning dice and we have to restart the game to get the lag out. It's been a well-known problem on TTS for a little while. Uh, Saturn, one of uh, the pillars of the community at this point, has found a fix. And I know absolutely nothing about this. Uh, he walked me through it. It took me... What, like 10 seconds, 15 seconds? And was an easy Yeah, it was insanely easy, and I was surprised because he said uh, something about programming, and my brain just completely shut off at that point. So I'm going to let Saturn explain uh, what this is. Yeah, so all this information is going to be in the description. So basically, uh, there was, uh, or rather, there is a malicious script that has attached itself to some models in TTS. And basically what it does is, uh, if it exists on a table, it will attach itself to every single object on the table, uh, like a virus. And that means every die that you spawn, even the hands that you're using, everything gets infected, which shoots up the memory usage and causes lag over the course of the game. This was a well-known problem in some 40k communities, in the Warcry community, and it was expunged uh, using this neat little uh, script cleaner. Um, so, if you have been experiencing these issues, uh, it may be because you got models from an outside mod, or you got models from Malkovich's mods. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, the bug found its way into there. The Ulthawan, uh model repository is totally clean, Malkovich's mod is now totally clean, and all the 4 e tables are fine. If you have any saved objects from Malkovich's mod or outside mods, there's a chance that you are dealing with this bug. What you do is either A, delete all of your saved objects and just get fresh models, or B, download Python and run the Python script that is linked in that Google Drive right there. This will go through all of your TTS data and clean it all. Either way is totally fine. All of the four E tables that you will have access to and will be using are gonna have little detectors on them um, the detector will automatically flare up and let you know if you're using an infected model. Um, at which point hit? you just delete them, restart TTS, go grab fresh models. Uh, super easy fix, and now we can play smoothly. Yeah, I'm guessing that this is the uh, detector. That is correct, yeah. Yeah, I found it on my own. I feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, I fully recommend doing the Python script. Uh, it was... Way easier than I thought. I clicked, like, what, two buttons? Three buttons, at most? And called it a day. But, uh, yeah, I just want to make a short little video out there. I know a lot of you guys are starting TTS or beginning to use TTS, and the lag makes it much more difficult. So I wanted to put this out there so you guys can fix your programs and make everything better. And for everybody who uh, stayed to the end, that is my cat's Pollo de Gato. Yeah. But all right, yeah. Thank you, everybody. And uh, is there anything else we need to add on? or? No, that's everything. All right. Well, everybody, have a good day.